we've got to build cities, infrastructure, and everything as green as possible and as proactive with the climate, climate and the weather as possible. When you consider your own impact on the Earth's climate, one critical change you can make is in how you power your home or business with green energy. The most commonly known is solar power. Usually people think of, of solar energy as, as photovoltaic panels for creating el electrical um, supply. There are other options when it comes to utilizing solar energy, and one of the greenest is passive. Passive being that the building was the main mechanism instead of some mechanical approach. Passive solar depends on a, a design, a house design, designed in such a way that you can accumulate heat and without any further um, energy inputs. Um, so you can create a system that heats and, and also cools itself. One of the most important aspects of choosing green energy comes down to location. The climate is definitely a factor. Microclimate where you are is critical. Digging into the ground to make your home may be great if you live in the southwest and don't deal with snow or flooding rains often. In a very damp climate, you have to pay attention to um, keeping moisture uh, away from entering into the house. In a climate that's, that tends to be windy, you, you need to make sure that um, it can be protected from wind catching up underneath it. Making the change may seem daunting, but it doesn't have to be. A lot of people think that if you, you build, you know, a greenhouse, that it's going to cost a whole lot more money, and that's not necessarily true. There's many ways to, to retrofit or to remodel an existing house, and often that's by far the, the most ecological choice. For AccuWeather, I'm Brian Conyers. Hey, AccuWeather viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And you can also click on any of the videos here to stay up to date on the latest weather news. Thanks for watching.